I've got two daughters. I know when they're not telling me something. So, if there's uh, anything going wrong at home, you know, if you're in any trouble and need to talk, just know I'm here to help. I'm fine. But if you had to be a different character in any of the shows, for the three shows, who would you be? I would choose Lizzie over and over again. Aww. I love playing that role. Aww. Originals. So yeah. The only hard part was... Really Jenny and Danielle enjoy the Hizzy Firebomb storyline. Hizzy forever. Hizzy Should have been there. All I could do was watch as he slowly slipped away too. I should have told you that I wanted you to stay behind me instead. Keeping that secret, it was the best way to help the greatest number of people. Don't worry. Good question. Wow, got him going. In the spirit of neglecting Haley. Go <laughs> we knew class was at peace at the end. Like, like we yeah, saw him. By the end. I found him. By the end. Yeah. Did we? Was he really at peace? I mean, technically it was speaking, the, right? Technically, he was in Vancouver. I, we like, just had the end his work. Technically, he was on Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thus ends the legend of the Trigrid. The legacy of the Klaus Michael. I loved your father as much as I hated him. I wanted him to change for me. So since she turned off her humanity, y'all know how Hope's hair has been getting darker and darker? What do y'all think that that means? Is it just symbolic or a metaphor for her getting darker herself? Does she just randomly decide to dye her hair a different color every episode? 
Or is there a deeper meaning to this that we might figure out when the characters finally find out how to turn it back on? I just feel like there's no way that that's for nothing. I mean, it's possible it could be an aesthetic change, but I just want to know what y'all think. And I know I can tell you when I've been. You won't judge, you're just listening. Is this how we're paying our respects? I didn't know Aurora was a Viking. Well, she finally admitted that she loved my father. I kind of was one. Matt Davis. I got a thing against Matt Davis. Yeah. Alaric. Easy one, go. I wanted to take a moment to say how much you all mean to me. I'm a better person because of your friendship, your love, and your belief in me. And it's been the honor of my life to fight by your side. We're gonna win. You know, as much as I've savored the joy of tormenting you throughout the years, I must confess, you all mean everything to me. Your loyalty and your counsel and your love is probably the only reason why I've survived as long as I have. Which is how I know. And that is why I'm not afraid. For your future. Though I may be leaving you tonight. This is not the end of the Michaelsons. We got some promotional pictures for Legacy Season 4, Episode 11. And in the first one, you can see that Hope Michelson is back rocking the dark look. I'm glad that we haven't seen the last of the black hair. And Lizzie is looking in the same direction as Hope, obviously hinting that they're both seeing something. We already know in the synopsis that this episode, Jed is going to be sharing a secret. So this must be the moment where the secret is spilled. And now we see that Jed is over here talking to his godly boyfriend. Cleo's face is giving me one of two things. Either she's looking at a threat, or she's very inspired on how to deal with something. And last but not least, we got a promotional picture of Landon and Alaric in the other world, probably still trying to find a way to get back and help Hope. Just pressure like a grip 